Okay, what does this look like? I'll tell you what it is. This is a 10 kilovolt transformer. Focus. Um, so this here is your line coming from the wall, which is 120 volts alternating current. This steps up that alternating current to 10 kilovolts of alternating current. The 10 kilovolts of alternating current are directly connected to a spark gap. And then off of the spark gap, we have these two capacitors. Those are just homemade foil wound capacitors separated by painting plastic uh, dial as dielectric. Um, and the simple thing about this circuit is that we can manifest many different types of electrical energy, um, some of which are being called cold electricity, some of which are being called dielectricity, longitudinal waves, and scalar waves. I'm going to show you quick what the schematic looks like. So here's your in outlet, there's your step up transformer, here's your spark gap, and there's your capacitor plates, here's your load for your light bulb, so in no way is the load from the light bulb connected to any form of natural conventional electricity. Um, pretty simple. So, one of the things that I'm going to show you here is that this electricity can work in many different ways. Um, one of the things that I want to show you quick is this cold electricity can obviously just light a light bulb. But that is not the unique thing about this cold electricity. Cold electricity can light a light bulb Now to anyone who looks at this, they would say, well, that doesn't make sense. This is just water straight from the tap. Nothing special about it. I'm going to dip those in there. So now the whole thing is submerged in water. What happens when I turn the cold electricity on? Interesting, huh? And you say, okay, well, that's just a fluorescent bulb. Fluorescent bulbs can be lit from anything, right? Sure, they can. What's this? This is a filament bulb. It's an automotive filament bulb. It's 12 volts. Probably like one amp. Um, Kind of strange, there's not much to that, right? All the way in the water. That shouldn't light at all, right? We should not have any light lighting up in that. There's a 40 watt bulb. Forty watt bulb should not light up if it's dipped in water. Plus this 40 watt bulb will not light up if I plug it into oh this is 60 watt, excuse me. This is 60 watt. So that's, that's my version of the cold electricity circuit. Um, 
as done by your very own. So that's a 60 watt bulb. Ooh, actually producing quite a bit of heat. That bulb's actually pretty warm. Um, the bulb is warm. This is just normal water. You should short the circuit out. The circuit doesn't short out because this is an unconventional type of electricity. This type of electricity is uh, can manifest itself in several different ways. This is my favorite one just because it doesn't really make any sense because the you can see the leads are obviously open two alligator clips in the very bottom of that water